Hi folks, and welcome back to another Work in Progress Wednesday. Last time, I introduced the growth ability and how it would be used to grow and revitalize plants. In this video, I'll be showing how withered vines can be revitalized by it, allowing you to climb up them. As I mentioned last time, the ability works by blending together two textures and drawing a trail behind you. For the vines, I created a texture for the default withered state and another for the rejuvenated state shown within the trail. The withered vines are a little thinner than the rejuvenated ones, giving them another subtle hint that they have a bit more life about them. For the leaves, I also made two different textures for the different states. The shader I created last time isn't used for these. Instead, they exist as images on a canvas. When I need to switch between different states, I change their alpha values so that the appropriate image is visible. I control this change using an animation, which also gives the leaf a bit of movement to show it either growing or wilting. When within the ability's range of influence, the leaves immediately change to their lush state. They will then wilt along with the vines when the trail recedes. With this complete, I can now create two different types of vines. Lush vines would be climbable anytime, whereas withered ones would require you to use the growth ability in order to climb. The withered vines would prevent you from climbing anywhere that isn't revitalized, meaning that if your power runs out mid-climb, you'll fall once that growth recedes. You can be sure that I'll be creating sections which push the time limit of this ability. It's been a really interesting challenge to create these vine sections and make them necessitate using the ability to advance. In the future, I'll be showing more uses for the growth ability, so stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.